hi hello welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to do a tablecloth okay in 3ds max so I'm just going to create geometry create and uh, here I'm going to use plane okay so going to the top view this is the table size so I'm going to take it bigger than the table going to the top view pressing T you can just switch to the top view okay so now I'm going to press P to come back to the perspective view right click this one I'm going to bring it up okay so here uh, when you use uh, cloth cloth modifier you have to use the seg more segments more mesh okay it is because when it is getting uh, simulated it simulates according to the segments I mean segments are these lines okay so mesh okay so what we have to do is we have to increase the segments what I'm going to do selecting that one going into the modifier here okay and then go to the segments I'm going to make it 150 here the same way 150 so that uh, this is going to take time and simulate based on the segments okay so if you want if your configuration is good and also if you want more simulation and also more uh, curls and uh, wrinkles in your cloth you can just always go for it okay more go for more segments in length and width okay so after doing this what you have to do just go to the modifier click on this modifier list press C okay so keep pressing C till you get the cloth modifier so click on that okay it's simple so I got this one after that okay so I want to add this object as a cloth okay so selecting this cloth go to object property click on that select the plane okay when you this is the plane okay so you can rename it okay uh, as a cloth later so here this is a plane too so click on that go to cloth click on that okay so if you want to change it into any other uh, material of uh, fabric okay kind of a, a silk or cotton okay here if I just give cotton according to that the parameter is going to change okay now just giving okay so if I'm going to play this this cloth is going to fall down okay it is going to cross this um, uh, the table and also the floor okay if I just simulate this one okay that is going to take a little bit of time here you see I'm just uh, pressing escape key so that it will stop here you see that this is crossing the table so what should I do I have to add this as a collider okay so what I have to do is the simulated frames are 7 so I'm going to erase this one okay after erasing that so selecting the object property I'm going to add these two objects okay so go to uh, object properties click on the add objects then click this two okay the, the box is nothing but the table and the plane is nothing but the floor just selecting that just select the box one always you can just rename it uh, before adding it okay so here I missed it but kindly rename it so select the box add it and plane one the floor add it add as a collision object okay not the cloth collision object here these two are collision object plane 2 is a cloth just give ok ok to change the name you can just come over here you can say it as a cloth ok so if I I can just name it as a table ok and selecting this one I can name it as a floor ok so selecting this one if I just go to object property you see the names here okay so when you select cloth this is cloth floor is a collision object and the table is again a collision object just give okay now just go for simulate okay when I simulate that is going to take time and it is going to simulate so here what I'm going to do I'm just going to press F4 so that you can see now this is falling on the table okay exactly perfect right so after the simulation I'll just 
come back okay so after uh, total of 76 uh, frame simulation this is going to look like this where you can just you know texture it or if you want to change any color always you are good to go with the color so it's excellent right so now here what I'm gonna do select this one okay so if you're going to keep on playing that is going to you know just start from again uh, from the start so if you want to break this connection or we'll right click this one convert that into editable poly now the cloth will get applied so now you see wherever you want you can just take it but the thing is like you, you can just place it on that okay so you can just go to first frame or second frame wherever you want you can just run through this okay so hope uh, you like this video kindly share if you are not yet subscribed kindly sh subscribe like it if you have any comments kindly leave your comments in the comment section thank you